Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Ow! I'm just trying to adjust my camera and then I crack my knuckle. Oh, you guys can see Skyliners right here. Um, but... Um, that is because you, you guys saw the title. Today I'm going to be reviewing my favorite and least favorite char character from Giants. Now, this is technically just... I'm technically just reviewing the characters. Like, I think I did this before with SSA, my favorite and least favorite. But now I'm doing the same thing with Giants. I have not uploaded that last video in a while. So I just decided to make another one because I'm bored and I have nothing else to do. So, uh, yeah. First up, we have the air element. Now, I'm just choosing these elements randomly. So, uh... My favorite, and I might as well just show them both off at the same time. My favorite and least favorite. Okay. My favorite character. Hi, low. My favorite character, air character from Giants is. Come on, I keep dropping him. Ah. My favorite is Swarm, and my least favorite is Jetback. It's this one was pretty obvious. Swarm was in my top five favorite Air Skylanders, um, and Jetback was not, so it was pretty obvious that Swarm was better. And he was, he did really good in my Giant Lock until he died on episode 15. Spoilers. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. But the reason why I like Swarm more than Jetback is because, is because he's way more powerful and unique. Now, Jetpack, um, I don't know how this works, because you probably wouldn't be able to see that, but that is hollow. That, that, his Jetpack, his Jetpack is, his, uh, I don't, oh my god, I seriously forget what it's called. His, like, Jetpack thingy, Jetpack, whatever air suction thingy it makes no sense so i think air just like supposedly goes in there then he like just suctions it into his vac blaster and then shoots it out or something i don't know that makes no sense swarm is actually like easier to control jetpack technically has two useless abilities his first one actually being quite useful except he shoots air so, yeah, it's pretty obvious I like Swarm more than Jetpack. And, yeah. Moving on to the... Let's just go Water Element. I do not have Chill, but I like Thumbback more. Um, Thumbback is way better than Chill. I think a lot of the Giants are going to be better than the cores in this. Well, most of them. Most of them are better than the cores. I'm not going to spoil which cores are better than the Giants, though, because there are at least there's at least one core that's better than a Giant, and it's pretty obvious magic element spoilers. Uh, I like Pop Fizz more than Genie. That'll just be the next, because I, uh, I exposed it. Not exposed, I just revealed it already, so. Yeah, but the main reason why I like Thumpback more than Chill is because it's really obvious he's more powerful than Chill. I don't... Okay, three reasons. He's more powerful than Chill. I can't play as Chill because I don't have Chill. So it's obvious that the one that I have, I'm going to like more. Um, and then finally, um, he has better range than Chill. And he's just, like, more powerful. I had his Blizzard. I had Blizzard Chill, so I had the opportunity to play as her. But... I gave her back to Allie because he gave me a buttload of Swap Force cores. Um, he gave me like three Swap Force cores or something. Technically four, but he took Grim Creeper back. So, and that's the only Swap Force core I'm missing now. <laughs> Grim Creeper. Um, oh wait, I just realized I have Cobra Cadaver and Wham Shell coming in the mail. And then today. I got Chopper in the mail. Yay, Chopper. 
Unfortunately, this is not a video for Chopper because I'm not reviewing Trap Team. So, yeah, but moving on to the magic element, it's pretty obvious. I only have Pop Fizz's wet. Pop Fizz's light core version. I do. I do not have his regular version, but I like Pop Fizz more than Ninjini. It's so obvious. Ninjini is my second least favorite Skylander, if you didn't know. Behind Cinder, Cinder is the absolute worst. The only thing really good about her is her design, really. Why isn't Ninjini my number one least favorite Skylander, then? Because I like nothing about Ninjini. But I actually like one thing about Cinder. But Ninjini's a bit stronger, though. Okay, I'm getting off track. But, yeah, so, I like Pop Fizz more than Ninjini because he's more fast. He's, like, faster, more range. Um, faster, I said that already. I don't know why I'm saying it again. Uh, and, yeah. He just has, like, a cooler figure and all. And I love his soul gem where you can just constantly shake up your bottle and then it explodes and does a, and does a buttload of damage. It's amazing. And yeah. I just really like Pop Fizz more than Ninjini. Why do I keep draw, draw hmm? I never had that chocolate bar before so I have no clue what it tastes like. Dang it, now I'm curious. <laughs> Moving on to the undead element, I do not have Freight Rider, but it's obvious I like Eye Brawl more than Freight Rider. Now, his punch attacks are just way more useful. He's more creative, and he has a mix of close range and far range attacks. But his when he summons the little eyes, it's not the greatest... Um, I do still like Fright Rider. He's not my least favorite. He's definitely not my favorite, though. But, technically, yeah. So, that's it for the Undead Element. Next up, we have the Tech Element. Now, for the Tech Element, it's obviously Bouncer better than... Okay, we're talking about Sprocket here. Sprocket is probably one of the most useless Skylanders ever. Uh, um, seriously, she's weak. Her new repose and swap force only gave her a new tank upgrade that she technically already had in Giants. She's just useless, in my opinion. And I know a lot of people who are in the Skylander stuff, like me, <laughs> are, are gonna agree with me that Sprocket is not the greatest. I know there are a few people who like or like know about Skylanders watch me probably not very well. I think Yeah, I think I I do have a SkyTuber watching me. SkyTuber, that's what we call Skylander YouTubers. I do have a SkyTuber watching me. I think that's Studio Stewart if I'm uh if I'm correct. So uh yeah, shout out to you, Studio Stewart. But yeah, I just like Bouncer more. He's way he's way more powerful. His finger guns do not that not very big damage, but how fast he shoots them makes up for it. So yeah, it for the tech element. I don't want to make this video too lengthy. It's already 10 minutes and we still have 3 elements to go. Um next up we have the life element. Now don't yell at me. I like Shroom Boom more than Tree Rex. Don't judge me. It's my own opinion. I just like Shroom Boom more than Tree Rex because Tree Rex because he's more agile. He does have a far range attack. Tree Rex. It just doesn't do as much damage, and it's pretty slow to reload. I'm a bigger fan of far range Skylanders than close range, so it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna like Shroom Boo more than Tree Rex, as he has the better moveset overall. So, 
technically that's all I really have to say about these two. So, yeah. I like both of them. It was just kind of hard to pick. But Shroom Boom was the winner overall because he, ju he just has a better far range moveset. For close range, he's not the greatest. But, yeah. They both have one in common. He's the... He is... Gr he is good for far range, he's good for close range, he's not that great for far range, but he doesn't have any close range attacks, I realize, though. And, uh, yeah, but still, I like Shroom Boom more than Tree Rex, I'm not gonna lie. Don't yell at me, please. So, moving on to... Moving... Moving on to the Earth Element, we have Flashwing better than Crusher. Now, this one's pretty obvious, considering that Flashwing is more creative than Crusher. Crusher is overall the slowest giant as well, and Flashwing is way, fa way faster than him with her Shimmering Spin. Ability. I think that's what it's called. Correct me in the comments. If the comment section is open in this video, which I guarantee it's not because it never is for some reason. I don't know why. Don't judge me. So, uh, yeah, but going back to Flashwing. She's a better far range character. I said this a million times. I love far range. I love far range characters more than close range. Sure, Crusher has an ability when he where he can turn enemies to stone. That's just not that great compared to the others because once you hit the enemy once, they are they are not frozen anymore and it's just too weak. He is powerful overall, but still not the greatest. So, I just have to say this, Flashwing is better for far range, and I just like far range characters more than close range. So, yeah. Moving on to the last element, we have the fire element. Now, this one's kind of obvious, I like hot dog more than hot head. Uh, listen, I love hot head. But Hot Dog is just more powerful and unique than Hot Head. Hot Head was supposed to resemble a volcano, I'm guessing. Considering that he has three fire spouts on him. So, I think that's pretty cool. His Oil Blob attack did get me through most of the finale of the Giant Lock. Which is why this was a really close battle between the two of them. But... Hot Dog overall was the better one since he's a dog. I love dogs more than volcanoes. Who wants a volcano to erupt? But it's not ju just that. It's power also counts. Now, the reason why I like Hot Dog, the main reason why I like Hot Dog more than Hot Head is because I use all of Hot Dog's moves. The thing I don't really like about hothead if you go for the for the oil blob path then his ass then his magma rain is technically useless because it doesn't cover as big of an of an area and it just doesn't do as much damage and it's harder to hit enemies also, it has a huge cooldown for you to do your next attack, from what I remember. So, yeah, that's just why I like Hot Dog more than Hot Head. So, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed just saying that I like another Skylander more than your favorite Skylander. Listen, I'm sorry, but this is my opinion. Now, you guys could put your opinions in the comments below, but like I already said, you might not be able to do that because my comment section is always closed for some reason. I, listen, okay, somebody that watches my channel and has a used, and have a YouTube channel, upload a video for me if the comment section isn't open, telling me how to close your comment section.
or like open your comments section in this case please because i know the main people that could probably do this w would be studio stewart and shiny steelix those are two people you youtubers that watch me um they are both great youtubers i suggest going to subscribe to them i don't know how to put links in the description because i'm a noob at youtube uh <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'll put their names in the description once I upload this video, because then you guys could just search them up exactly and look at their channels. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed. And, yeah, see you guys in my next vid. See ya.